Well, hello. Hi. Welcome to the Chasing Ebenezer Show, where we're standing today because yep. we just did a different recording pro- project and we're too lazy. Just didn't to move feel things. like moving stuff. So I'm Heidi. I'm Benjamin. You are totally welcome to sit down as you watch this show. Or you could stand. If you want. You could lay on the floor. I actually enjoy a lot of times. Laying on the floor. I work on the floor many times. It's it's pick your own uh, posture. Day. Pick your own posture day. Yeah. <laughs> so a uh, big shout out to our patrons uh, who support us each month. We're super grateful for you. Woo! Shout out because we got a new patron this week. Uh, he also happens to be... We have a guest on the show today. We're doing a lot more of that because we are boring ourselves at this point and we want you to see other creative people. Because the more creative people you're around, the more inspired you get to be. And That sounds more. Yeah. So John Sinclair, our guest today, he's our new patron. Big shout out to you. We're going to talk about him a little bit more in a second. Uh, but yeah, if you're not on Patreon yet, sign up. And guess what? You can see a sneak peek of our album cover. That's right. You got that. You should have gotten that if you're a patron. Mm -hmm. This person right here designed it. Yep. Direct all feedback to me. (laughs) No, just tell them it's awesome. I think it's awesome. That's what I meant by feedback. (laughs) And our plan is to have the new uh, album cover on Mm t-shirts. Yeah. So you're going to want one of those when we get those. And if you're a patron... You're going to get the EP oh, before yeah, that's everybody right. else does. You're going to get the tunes early. Yeah. Yeah. So stay tuned for yep, that. Stay, stay tuned, tuned for, for the that. tunes. <laughs> and now we're going to, this is the part of the show, newly instituted since last week, where we get to talk about, I'm excited. <laughs> so what are you excited about this week? Okay. I am excited about this jar. This is a, an anniversary potion. A potion? Yes. Okay. This is a gift. It's a pre-gift. It's, it's supposed to sit until our anniversary in January. And this is from our niece. And she says that this, you know, I clarified, and you know, this is to commemorate our love. And this lasts forever, guys. It does. And she would know. <laughs> So I am excited <laughs> about her and her creativity and our anniversary potion. That's forever. awesome. Mm-hmm. We're married, if you didn't know. Yeah. Eh. We try not to gross you out. Okay, what are you excited about? I'm excited. You uh, do that every time now. I am, just because <laughs> you just have to own it. Uh, two things. Uh, the first thing I'm excited about is a birthday gift that was given to me pre-COVID. Before, remember that? when Before all that happened? Uh, you got me a horseback riding thing. So I'm really excited about finally scheduling and being able to go horseback riding with you. That's our plan. That's our plan, provided nothing else goes wrong. <laughs> and I'm also excited about the fact that our band gets to play a show in Silverton on October 10th. So Sweet. really yeah. looking forward to you that. You can come as to well. that if you want. You can it's if you outside. Outdoors, so totally come safe. Come to Silverton. Yeah. All right. All tell right. us what you're excited about. John's going to tell you what he's excited mm-hmm. about in a minute. But, you know, today, let's, why don't you talk about what the topic is? The topic was given to us by our friend, uh, Rick Stewart. Um, Hi, Rick. Rick, we Thanks love you. We're so, you. Hope, hope Alaska is treating you well. <laughs> um, the idea of critique, and we've talked about, you know, critics and that kind of thing, but to be able to have us be like a critiquer of songs. Because we're songwriters. Because we're songwriters. And I always kind of shrug when I hear critique because I, th- I think it's all about what's wrong with it instead of, which is what we're going to do, what was good about it? Like what being positive. Because a lot of us know what we're bad at. Yeah. So it should critique should be an encouraging thing. Should be. It should be something that encourages you or really strengthens something that maybe it gives you a direction to go in. So, yeah, we're going to do that with our friend John, who you're going to meet here in a few minutes. Yeah, um, we'd ask, we'd ask, we asked people to submit songs for us to critique, but... We didn't get any, probably because we didn't advertise it very well, no. or just nobody wanted to. So we asked John, and he was nice. And to And he do that. was very kind. And we're, we're gonna say something, or we say what we like about his song now. We're gonna. I thought we were gonna do that later. When are we gonna do it? After they hear his song. After the song. Yes. Okay. Apparently, so we're gonna do bit. like the pause. We're gonna thing, pause here. Or we're just gonna we're gonna go like. Pause and pretend <laughs> that. Oh, now we're back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Literally, we're just gonna like take break exactly seven seconds but we're going to give you your prompt for the week now oh we're doing right. that now yes don't you like how organized we are i am uh so the first thing is like let john's song 
B, your prompt create while you're listening to it. You can listen to it multiple times because this is a video that you can rewind and replay. Uh, the other thing is think about another song that you really like and critique that. And by that, I mean, think about what is it about the song that moves you? Why do you connect with that song? What does it draw out of you? And you had a prompt. Oh, I gave you. I did the prompt that you had. I took it. I got, I don't know. You good? I, I got nothing. Okay, then we're good. So we're going to cut over <laughs> to... Uh, we're going to jump over to John's, John's house. House. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after we'll be back and we're going to give you our critique of his song. So we love you and we'll see you in a few. Bye. So I get to introduce you guys to a really good friend of mine. This is John Sinclair. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> John, how do we know each other? Open mic. Open mic. Yeah. Down in Wayland's where they got the coldest smittics in town. Oh. Uh. Sorry, I was having. I was right, having a, I know. I, was I get lost a, easily <laughs> thinking of beer. A craving. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, when, back in the day, when there used to be live music mm-hmm. and and stuff like that, you know, I, I never told you this, but you know, whenever we would run the open mic, we would always be wondering who's going to show up, mm-hmm. and I always knew the night was going to go better when you showed up. <laughs> I always did. Aww, so so I, I, you know, I, I love hearing you play. I love your covers. I love your originals. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're going to play us a song. You yeah. want to tell me kind of what the song's called? What a uh, song is called. I think it's called five, six, two, three. And I, I have a hard time naming songs. It takes a while. It's not like it's on an album or something. Yeah. But, uh, it is, uh, it's a song about the house that I grew up in and, uh, about my family and, um, uh, you know, just about the times, you know, in the seventies mm. and eighties in North Portland. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Now, you got a big family, right? Oh, yeah. How many brothers and sisters? I'm youngest of 13. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Nice. So that comes up in the song. It's a really, it's a uh, it's a thing to take you through the family and the house and, uh, you know, just kind of give you a little tour. So it's... Nice. Yeah, yeah. So it talks about that, about how many people and, and how many telephones for people. <laughs> <laughs> this was before cell phones and it's, cell phone plans, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and it's before mom and dad would buy a phone they didn't have one of those rotaries yeah 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 those things that you get tangled up in yeah <laughs> my grandparents had one of those it's mm-hmm. really cool yeah <laughs> alright so I, I have to do this for the show because we just in, 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 instituted uh, the I'm excited oh. portion of the show so what is something you're excited about what am I excited about I'm probably excited about a few things uh, first thing that comes to my mind is I'm excited about going camping I've gone on a couple of kind of impromptu trips this year, but I get to go camping in my little old camping trailer oh, next month, and nice. so I'm super looking forward to it. Where are you going? That. Cape Lookout. Cool. Uh, just south of Tillamook. Okay, yeah, okay. Just right on the coast, and uh, it's probably going to be cold and rainy, but we got a little trailer. Who cares? It's Oregon. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm ready for that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Good deal. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and just cut away and... Uh, We'll be yep. back with you playing some music. All right. So we'll be back in a minute. Took 
kitchen door off in the summertime Dad needed a rest cause he worked all the time Well they did the best, they did just fine Even took us to the movies on Friday night We don't lock the door, ain't got no keys Love and family is all we need These walls hold our best memories At Williams Avenue, 5623 Williams Avenue Never alone when someone's always home. Fourteen people, one telephone. We threw the ball, but not many stones. We we're of one blood and a whole lot of bones. We don't lock the door, I ain't got no keys. Love and family is all we need. That's the phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Whew, we're back Man, from John's back. house. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whew. All right, so are we ready for the critique? Wasn't that awesome, it was so good. by the way? So good. John has got the coolest girl. I wish you could have seen the other stuff that was in there. That guy is just... So he makes sawdust look so beautiful. He really does. He really does. I know. He makes his own wooden picks, by mm-hmm. the way. Yeah. So I'm going to start with you. What was it about John's song that you liked? Okay. I loved this song the first time that he, I heard him at open mic. Yep. And so, and then when we heard him play it live, when we recorded it, man, it it's the kind of song and just the kind of experience that just gives me the, the shivers, like the good music shivers. Not the cringes, the Not shivers. Not the cringes, the shivers. Like, <laughs> oh! And I think it's because it's so coming from his heart. Mm-hmm. It's just him in a song. And uh, just it just makes me want to know his family. Like, yeah. I, I mean, we were talking afterwards. It's like, I want to make a documentary about your... A documentary? A documentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a, a duck and bring it with me. I I just made me want to know more about his family, mm-hmm. and I and I think I told him too. And this is not original with me, but the more specific something is, the mm-hmm. more general yeah. of an influence it has. Like his song is about a very specific family, a very specific place and time and group of people, but then it makes it so meaningful to to i think more people mm. Mm. that's true does that make sense at I, all i was totally tracking with what you were saying john we hope you were tracking with what she was saying if not it was good. that's how the show goes <laughs> why do you love well the song? i you know i've been singing it the past few days i have two i have two i was like hey, nah, nah, nah. i can't remember the numbers nah, six three oh is that how it goes I'll let him it sounds it. way better in my head. <laughs> my my favorite thing in the song is mute from a musical the musicality thing. The hook in that song is real simple. It's just a strummed chord that he lets ring, and he sings that line, the, the address, <laughs> over and over again. It I love that. I absolutely. That's like that's when I decided like oh I really like this song. Was that part right there? Um, like you, I love that. I get to hear John in that song. I get to know John in that song because that's so important. You know, it's like when you're singing about who you are, I I just really connect with that. It's a, yeah, I liked the content. Um, I love the way he plays a D chord, the the little hammer on things he was doing in the beginning. 
And um, the most personal favorite thing that I liked about the song was that it added the phone number at the end. Oh, oh, <laughs> I thought that was such a great yeah, touch. Yeah, it was yeah. so it was so personal. You feel like that song is like something you're having a conversation with. Yeah. So. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's our feedback. So, yeah. So, John. be positive. People need to hear what they're doing well. Because yes. usually we know what we're doing wrong. We might lie about it. Or we might be like, uh-uh. Be in denial. <laughs> be defensive. But give positive mm-hmm. critiques to people. Encouragement. And you can offer feedback, too. A little like, hey, maybe you can do this differently if you want. But, but yeah. Artists need affirmation. We do. And John, we do. you're an artist. We affirm you. We love you. And we love you, everybody. And we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.